Hello, this is Chad. Today I thought I'd do a real quick video on the Nest Hello's power kit. Hopefully by the end of this video we'll be able to answer what is it, what does it do, and what happens if I don't install the power kit. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is hook up my multimeter to the the terminals on the transformer and take note of the voltage it's at 20.2 and I'm going to hit the button the make the chimes going to sound and the voltage is going to drop and so try to take note how low that drops So that dropped Someone's down to, door. excuse me, sorry. So that dropped down to 16.5 volts. So this is a 20 volt transformer and that's enough, that's sufficient enough power for the Nest Hello to run, dropping it down to 16.5. Now we're going to try it with out the power kit and we're gonna see what happens now I don't recommend you do this because it, it is hard on the doorbell but for purposes of this video for us to understand what it does I'm going to unhook it and then we're going to see what the voltage drops down to so now we are going to hook the meter back up to the transformer and we've got that 20.2 volts I'm going to hit the button and we're going to see how low the voltage drops down to. So as you could see that time, someone's at the front door. We dropped down to 14.7 volts. So as you can see, this is a capacitor and so it stores electricity or energy when the button's pushed and the chime is energized, it uses the stored power in the power kit, which is a capacitor. And uh, so it doesn't allow the voltage to drop as far on the Nest Hello as it does without it. So I believe uh, the first time we hit the button with this installed, it dropped down to 16.5 volts. And then when we uh, took this out, it dropped down to 14.7 volts. So you can see that this does help. But that makes me wonder, how long does this last? Is it just a second? Is it two seconds? Is it five minutes? So we're going to hook this up without uh, the Nest Hello installed. Remember, this is hard on it to have it drop down to 14 volts because uh, it's rated at needing 16 volts and, and we drop down to 14 and it's a real quick thing. Anyways, let's try it now with just a normal, regular doorbell installed. Okay, so now we've got the button installed and we're going to hook our meter up to our transformer and we are getting not a good reading we're getting 20.8 and that's because the nest hello isn't installed it uses a little bit of electricity so now we're going to hit the button we'll see that the voltage will drop and then once the capacitor is depleted it'll drop again So I don't know if you saw that. It dropped down to 18 volts, then it dropped down to 13 volts. It was a very quick time. A fraction of a second uh, is all this lasts. It is necessary if you're using the chime. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.